Hello again, my great mathematicians. It's great to see you. You have been such wonderful learners. You should feel so proud of all you have learned with Rami and Elsa. During this time, we have learned a lot about subtraction. Always remember what you have learned and use your learned skills to solve other problems. In our last session, Rami already taught us many skills and tools to use in subtraction. Today, he will continue to teach us how to subtract with two digit numbers. Before we start, as we always do, get yourself comfortable and relaxed. Today, we are going to do a rainbow breathing exercise to get ourselves calm and relaxed. First, keep your eyes closed and stand tall. Now, imagine a beautiful rainbow. Keep your arms loosely at the side of your body. Open and close your hands a few times to warm up your body. Keeping your arms straight and loose, slowly float them up from your sides. As you are reaching up, take a deep breath in. Feel how wide your hands can reach, out to the side, and up gently clapping your hands together. Now, as you let your arms float back to your side, breathe out. Let's try it together again. Ready? Breathe in as you float your arms up to close the rainbow. Breathe out as you let your arms come back down to your sides. Let's try three more times. Repeat. Now that we are all calm and relaxed, let's do a little warm-up counting exercise. First, put your counting by tens thinking hat on and get ready to count by tens but backwards. Ready? Let's go! 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Great! Now let's try using our counting back skills. What if we say 60? What is before 60? 50. Now, if we say 80, what is before 80? 70. Good! What if we say 40? What is before 40? 30. You're ready! Let's go! Remember when Rami brought all those copybooks to show us how to subtract? Well, those copybooks are from Rami's dad's bookstore. Rami goes with his dad to the bookstore over the weekends to help him. A man comes and wants to buy copybooks. Rami's dad has 80 copybooks in the bookstore. If the man buys 20 copybooks, how many will remain in the bookstore? In order to find out how many are left in the bookstore, we need to subtract. So. Subtract 80 minus 20. Well, since Rami knows how to subtract tens, it's easy. 80 minus 20 means 8 tens minus 2 tens, which is 6 tens. So 80 minus 20 equals 60. Rami can even use his counting backwards skills. 80, 70, and 60. That's it. It's 60. On another day during the weekend, a man comes and wants to buy 36 pencils. Rami's dad has 73 pencils in the bookstore. If the man buys 36 pencils, how many pencils will remain in the bookstore? Just like we did before, in order to find out how many are left in the bookstore, we need to subtract. So subtract 73 minus 
36. But how can Rami subtract these numbers? Let us remember what Rami taught us. The place value chart. That's right. Rami uses the place value chart to subtract 73 minus 36. He places the numbers in it. Ones under ones and tens under tens. He knows he has to start with ones and then move to tens. But he finds that he can't subtract 6 from 3. Hmm. What does he need to do? Rami knows that 73 is 7 tens and 3 ones. So, 73 pencils are 7 groups of 10 pencils each and 3 pencils. To subtract, Rami should start subtracting the ones. So, he needs to take away 6 pencils from 3. Can he? Of course not. He finds that he needs to regroup the 7 tens of pencils as 6 tens of pencils and 10 pencils. Now he adds the 10 ones with the 3 ones, so he has 13 ones. Now he can take away 6 pencils from 13 pencils. He finds that 7 pencils remain. And then he subtracts the tens, six tens minus three tens, it is three tens. Now, how many pencils are left? Three groups of ten pencils each, and seven pencils. This means that 73 minus 36 is 37. So 37 pencils are left in the bookstore. A woman comes to the bookstore. She wants to buy 47 crayons. There are 65 crayons in the bookstore. So how many crayons will remain in the bookstore? Rami needs to subtract 65 minus 47. But how? Again. Rami thinks of the 65 crayons in the bookstore. 6 tens and 7 ones crayons. He regrouped 6 tens and makes them 5 tens and 10 ones. So there are tens and 15 ones crayons. Now he starts with ones and he can subtract 7 from 15 and he gets 8. Then he subtracts the tens and finds that 5 groups of tens minus 4 groups of tens is 110. So 65 minus 47 is equal to 18. And Rami finds that 18 crayons remain in the bookstore. Now, let's see how Rami uses the place value blocks to subtract. The easy way to subtract two digit numbers is to use cubes for ones and rods for tens. Now, what if we don't have base 10 blocks? No problem. We can use any cubes available or even water bottle caps where every 10 make a rod. Now, he needs to take 8 ones from 2 ones. This can't be done, so he regroups 1 ten to 10 ones. So what does he have? 3 tens and 12 ones. Now, he takes 8 ones from 12 ones. 4 ones are left. Then, he moves to tens takes away two tens and one ten is left. So 42 
minus 28 equals 14. Nice work! Now, Rami wants to show you how he can use the place value table of 1s and 10s to subtract 42 minus 28. Let's see how he uses it. First, he places the numbers in the place value table and aligns 1s under 1s and 10s under 10s. He starts with 1s. And when he finds that he can't subtract 8 from 2, he takes 110 from the 4 tens, which will be 3, and regroups the 110 to 10 ones, and adds them to the ones so he gets 12 ones. Now he subtracts. 8 from 12 is 4 ones. 2 from 3 tens is 110. So 42 minus 28 is equal to 14. It is an easy process, isn't it? Now let's practice subtracting two digit numbers vertically using the place value table of ones and tens. Remember what Rami told us? To subtract the ones first and then subtract the tens. Let's subtract 58 minus 39 using the place value table of 1s and 10s. First, arrange the numbers in the table vertically, 1s under 1s and 10s under 10s. Now, let's subtract the 1s first. 9 from 8. We can't subtract a larger number from a smaller number, so what do we do? We will regroup 110, so we have 4 tens and 18 ones. Now subtract 9 from 18. It is 9. Next, let's subtract the tens. 4 tens minus 3 tens equals 110. So 58 minus 39 equals 19. Let's see another example. Subtract 81 minus 26. Again, we arrange the numbers in the table 1s under 1s and 10s under 10s. Then we subtract. Start with the 1s. Can you subtract? Let's see. 1 is smaller than 6. And we know that we cannot subtract a larger number from a smaller number. So we need some regrouping. So 8 tens will be 7 tens. And so 1 1 will be 11 ones. Subtract the ones. Now, what do you get? 5 ones. Now, subtract the tens. 7 tens minus 2 tens is 5 tens. So 81 minus 26 equals 55. Now, let's practice with more examples of subtracting two digit numbers. One thing to remember is subtract the ones first and then subtract the tens and check if you need to regroup. Okay, first try subtracting 27 from 40. Let us remember some of the rules on subtracting two digit numbers. First, we arrange the numbers vertically in the table. Ones under ones and tens under tens. Next, we subtract the ones. But we need to check if we need to regroup. In this case, yes, because we can't subtract a larger number, 7, from a smaller number, 0. So, regroup 110 to 10 ones, so we have 3 tens and 10 ones. Now, subtract the ones. 10 minus 7 equals 3. Then, we subtract the tens. 3 tens minus 2 tens 
equals 110. So 40 minus 27 equals 13. Let us do one more example. Subtract 65 minus 58. First, we arrange the numbers vertically in the table. Ones under ones and tens under tens. Next, we subtract the ones. But check if we need to regroup. It seems we do because we cannot subtract a larger number, 8, from a smaller number, 5. So, after regrouping, we have 5 tens and 15 ones. Subtract the ones, 15 minus 8 equals 7 ones. Then, we subtract the tens, 5 tens minus 5 tens equals 0 tens. So, 65 minus 58 equals 7. You did it! Great! Let us pause here for a minute and take a break. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. And take another breath in and breathe out. Repeat until you are relaxed. Now we're done. Are you ready to continue? Great! Let's go! Rami has taught us how to subtract two-digit numbers. And he always reminds us to subtract the ones first. But why? Well, sometimes ones needs to regroup the tens because otherwise we cannot do the subtraction. So, we need to check the ones first to see if they need to borrow from the tens if we have to which is why we should start with the ones first. Now, let's see when we need to regroup when subtracting. 47 minus 33. Do we need to regroup? How do we know? Look at the ones. Can we take 3 from 7? Yes, 7 is a bigger number, and we are subtracting a smaller number, so no need to regroup. Now, 73 minus 36. First, look at the 1s. Now, can we take 6 from 3? No, we cannot. So yes, we need to regroup. Here is another one. 57 minus 18. Look at the ones. Can we take 8 from 7? No, we cannot. So yes, we need to regroup. The last example now, 84 minus 44. What do you think? Excellent! We do not need to regroup because if we look at the ones, we notice that we can take 4 from 4, so no need to regroup. Now, I am sure that you are so proud of yourself. You know how to subtract two-digit numbers with and without regrouping. Now, what about a poem that Rami uses to help him when subtracting? Look at the given examples. Take a minute and look at them well. Now, listen to this subtraction poem. More on top. No need to stop. More on the floor? Go next door and get 10 more. What does this mean? More on top, no need to stop. This means that if the ones in the first number is greater than in the second number, just subtract. More on the floor. So if the ones on the bottom is greater than that on the top, regroup, go to the tens, and get one ten that is equal to ten ones. Let's look at this again. Wow, that was great!
We have learned how to subtract two digit numbers with Rami. How do you feel? I feel so happy because we have learned so many skills that we can use anytime, anywhere to solve subtraction problems that need regrouping. Now here is something fun for you to do at home with your family and friends. This game needs three players. First, make six subtraction cards like the one shown. Start the game. Deal the cards. Each player gets two cards, opens the cards, and solves the two subtraction operations he or she sees. So, he or she gets two differences, and again, he or she subtracts the two differences. The winner is the one with the final least difference. Let's see how. A player gets these two cards. So he or she does two subtractions and gets two differences. Again, he or she subtracts the two differences to get a final difference. 32 is his or her last difference. You can shuffle the cards and repeat the game as many times as you prefer. Hope you'll enjoy it! Well, we are done with this session. Rami has left you with some great resources. If you wish to further practice with family or friends, you can follow these links. Thank you! See you next time!